There are several thousand years of recorded history in our globe, much of which has been transmitted through the ages through myth, legend, and antiquity religious literature. These parables, stories, fables, and lessons seem to be intended to help us make sense of the world around us. However, occasionally they get bizarrely close to the truth even before it has actually occurred. Welcome to Z. And today we're looking at four strange prophecies found in early Buddhist writings. Do you require answers to the important queries? Then why not join Z to see more videos like this one? And ring the bell for more inspiring material. Buddhism is arguably the major world religion most connected with revealing the reality of reality. In general, there is a focus on attaining nirvana, or transcendence, in order to reach a higher level of understanding. There are also books and sections that discuss the future, even though they may not be as prominent in some religions as they seem to be in others. We'll start off today's predictions on a good note and with a fundamental idea that guides them all. In Buddhism, time is a crucial concept. Buddhism asserts that time is circular as opposed to the Christian view, which holds that there is a single thread connecting the past and the future. Timelines are hence many. And this is wonderful news for each individual since it may mean that we won't have to face the inevitable, unavoidable destruction of the cosmos at the end of time. Instead, we will have numerous lives, afterlives, and rebirths that span multiple cosmic universes as well as this universe. Additionally, the revolving library of other planes that makes up these cosmic universes undergoes a continuous cycle of birth and death. In this approach, Buddhism foresees change as the one genuine constant in our existence rather than catastrophe and annihilation. The particular human deeds, or karma, are then stated to be what decide the future direction and circumstances for that human's route through the cycle of time, mediating this shift. The emergence of our difficulties, which range from despair to divisive ideologies, political unrest to personal loss, is actually only a prologue to greater peace in the future and is the natural order of things, which is again somewhat comforting given the reality's seeming cyclical nature. In the end, it remains to be seen whether this forecast for future peace will come true at our current human level on Earth. The strange thing is that, potentially, it doesn't matter. The destination is always in front of us, the journey is what matters. The second prediction then particularly leads us to Tibetan Buddhism. There are many fascinating legends to select from in this place, not the least of which is the Shambhala prophecy. The Shambhala prophecy, which was allegedly issued some 1200 years ago, describes the birth of a sizable group of people who, it is claimed, will one day bring about significant transformation and healing via their compassion and understanding of the interconnectedness of all things. But first, it foretells what will go wrong and cause us to need them. It predicts a day when forces with cutting edge, previously unheard of technologies and unfathomable destructive power pose a serious threat to all life on Earth. While there is some ambiguity in this, it is simple to translate it into modern terms such as nuclear bombs and chemical weapons. The history of brutality and greed is also evident. Yet again, there are causes to maintain optimism. First off, none of these dangers are invincible, physically impossible, or godlike, therefore they are all at least imaginable to us. We created these awful conditions, but we may also provide a way to escape them by allowing the kingdom of Shambhala to flourish. This points to a new, and much needed, perspective, a spiritual transformation rather than a literal kingdom in the sense of a civilization that is expanding. The kingdom of Shambhala, or all those with the spirit, will work together in this way to eliminate the threats to life on Earth, acting as a guiding light while everything is dark. However, what's really intriguing is that, in some interpretations, anyone may be able to enter the Shambhala. The prophecy focuses on the vital roles that a person's actions, way of life, and connections play in their capacity to stand up and be driven to take action. 
must fight against the unimaginable destructive power in whatever form it manifests in order to improve the world. Sadly, and in a more general sense, some interpretations of Buddhism imply that things might need to grow worse before they get better. Even terrible. In the Sermon of the Seven Sons, which is supposed to have been delivered by the Buddha himself, our third prediction depicts a final fate for us. It's not good either. The Seven Sons prophecy does still exist in cyclical Buddhist time, so it need not be the end of all, but it nevertheless paints a bleak picture of what the future holds for anyone unfortunate enough to experience it. It revolves on a kind of apocalypse marked by the arrival of seven suns in the sky, each of which brings about and stands for escalating destruction for Earth. All things appear to be facing a terrible gulf of endless nothingness at this apparent finale. It somewhat reverses Buddhism's fundamental principles. It is stated that during this time, people will grow weary and even disgusted with life. They will want for release from it and look for ever more unsettling means to do so. However, once the multi-suns emerge, control of the situation will be lost. As additional suns appear, it is predicted that the ecology and the global biosphere will suffer extensive harm and destruction. All plants and trees will dry out, perish, and dissipate after the rain stop. That rivers, lakes, ponds, and even the oceans will dry up. Mountains will crumble, and the Earth's final vestiges will burn. Under the relentless glare of a scorching sky, nature as we know it will be brought to its knees and on the verge of extinction by the time of the seventh sun. Our once beautiful planet has devolved into a vast wasteland and a fiery hell. So, in this branch of Buddhism, the future holds a very gloomy day. Fortunately, though, there is still hope because every ending ushers in a fresh start. Sadly, despite the fact that Buddhism is known for favoring a more upbeat stance, there are other significant issues that are reportedly approaching from the horizon in addition to this physical hell on earth. For us as well, there is psychological wreckage in store. We turn to the Buddha once more for our fourth and last prediction of the day. According to mythology, the Buddha predicted that his teachings would be lost 5,000 years after his dying, or roughly the year 4,500. Our understanding of reality and the fundamental truth it stands for will be lost at this point in the course of human history. That the Buddha and his teachings will be completely lost, and that as a result, human civilization would deteriorate. The rumor has it that we shall succumb to things like greed and poverty. In addition to acts of violence, murder, betrayal, and anything else that we really would prefer to avoid. This will be the darkest period in human history, possibly even surpassing the ecological collapse predicted in the Seven Suns. However, as seems to be the case with all the worst scenarios in Buddhist thought, there may still be a chance for relief and salvation because it is believed that this end of mankind should also herald the beginning of a new golden age for us, beginning with Mithraya, the fifth and final avatar of Buddha, appearing on Earth. The coming Buddha for people like us. Mithraya carries with him a complete awareness of the nature of the cosmos, unimaginably beyond any level of comprehension that we could expect to attain, having gained matchless wisdom throughout the course of all his previous lives. Therefore, it is believed that Mithraya will lead humanity to turn back toward virtue and kindness during his time with us. That he will lead us out of our dreadful low point and restore us to being the best that we can be by ushering in the rejection of violence, meanness, dishonesty, and all other vices. However, unlike other stories, there isn't another Buddha after this one. Therefore, the earth that Mithraya leaves behind ought to be the ideal location. A real utopia was foreseen by Buddhism's cycle of events. Which of them resonates with you the most, then? The intricate temporality in which only change matters, or the Shambhala Kingdom, which should one day protect humankind from catastrophic technology? The seven sun seeming catastrophe set against Buddhist thought's multiverse-inspired background or the potential appearance of a messianic leader who leads us to a renaissance of peace and prosperity? because those four improbable prophecies from early Buddhist texts are the most notable ones at the moment. How do you feel? 
Do you think we missed anything? Please share your thoughts in the comments, watch other additional Z videos, and subscribe to receive notifications of our newest posts.